so it's Kiosh and I'm back for my renovation video. So I'm super, super excited to bring back my renovation videos for the next couple of weeks. So if you guys don't know, last year I started doing renovation busy videos called Busy Doing Renovations and I had six episodes out already. So some of the rooms that you are going to see in these episodes have been renovated before or pieces of them have been renovated because you know I work on a project basis. So some things get done at some times and some things get done at other times. So any room that you see, if I'm doing a renovation on that room, I will link either down below or in in the cards above um, the previous video that goes with whatever room I'm working on so today I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of me getting my new office renovated and done for you guys if you don't know um, my office renovation is finally complete I did put the video up um, this past Monday so I'll make sure I go ahead and link that below also so once you finish watching this behind the scenes video like getting everything together trying to organize it shopping and things like that then you want to see what it looks like afterwards and I will link that down below so you can go ahead and check that out so I'm super excited to bring you episode 7 of my busy doing renovations and this is more building stuff and getting stuff in the office buying things um my like thought process behind how i wanted my office to look this is what this video is about and it's very choppy and i apologize for that because when i was recording everything i didn't think about it needing to go into a full video but it's cohesive enough and it's um has enough um commentary or you know clips in there of me talking about what i'm doing and then i have time stamps so you'll know how long i've been working on this project i think my earliest time stamp may be in june sometime so it may have took me about a month or two to you know collect everything and get my concept in my mind and things like that so if you guys want to see the behind the scenes of how i got my office together go ahead and keep on watching all right you guys <sighs> This is the shelf that I bought. Oh, by the way, ham. Sorry. This is the shelf I bought. And look how good it goes with my floors, you guys. So this is gonna be great with the dark metal here. It's gonna be a good contrast to all of like my little white items and stuff. <laughs> my little stuff right here. So yeah, I think I'm off to a good start. So I bought two of them. I'm either gonna put them here between each other so I can film or I might make it a corner thing situation. Haven't really, you know, decided that yet. Big Ham told me I should just try both out and see which one I like. Go losers. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. But first, I gotta put the 900 pieces together. All right, on to putting my bookshelf together. Let's get it. Always. Read the instructions. bookshelf all put together it goes really really well in here now like I was saying I am five six seven five seven ish so this is where the bookshelf stops for me so it is short but like I said I'll be sitting down so I'm not really worried about that um but for me uh it's kind of short but i think because i'll be sitting down i won't be doing too much it'll go good so i got two so one down and one to go all right you guys so this is the bookshelf this is the best i could do right now for what i got so clearly there's only two things on that bookshelf and this is on the other bookshelf so maybe i should move something over i only got two up one two three four a couple of things on that one we'll figure it out not the best of this so bear with me. So it's May 
Yes, and I'm showing you some clips of my office because um, this is going to be part of the renovation uh, series video. So I basically have some like items over here that could possibly go to the gallery wall in here or either in my living room. I haven't decided when I, somebody's going to help me with my gallery wall. So we're going to get that together. And then I have this chair that I'm going to get rid of because it's very uncomfortable. Um, my lights and my tripod. And so this is what my current desk setup look like, but all of this is going away. This desk is going to Jalen. This desk in Jalen room is going in the trash. This is probably going to go away or either in my closet, or I might try to paint it white and put it under my new desk um, because I still going to need like some kind of filing system. And that complete desk that I make shift over here is going away as well. And then this area, I can't decide if I'm going to have my desk here or if I'm going to have my desk here in front of the bookshelves whichever way I'm not sure and then I do believe that the gallery wall is going to go here because I know I like my bookshelf here but it just depends somebody's like I said is going to help me so I'm not an interior decorator but I have people who are some like interior decorators so they're going to come help me decide where I should put everything um a lot of people ask me about these shelves I did get these shelves at Big Lots and they were on sale Memorial Day weekend at regular $79.99 a piece. And I paid $64 a piece, so $124 for them. So I think they were very good find. They're very sturdy and very nice. Um, I still want to get like a dead, a chair in here and uh, um, and another shelf to make like a T-bar so I can have like a sitting area like right here. But I have to make sure that it's small enough to fit here the chair needs to be small enough to fit here and here either here or here with the t-bar next to it or either i'm gonna put the t-bar over there one of the two or put the shelf in the i mean not shelf the chair in this corner and have the t-bar right next to the window so it's gonna be something like that and then i might leave this open i just depend well, I got you was worried about it, was gonna, it looks so good it. and it's gonna be a lot of contrast from the floor pull uh -huh. it up that looks good all right all right, you guys, I just got in and put the rug down. This is what it looks like in contrast to the bookshelves. I love it. Uh, it might be a little small for this room, but I don't think so. It just looks like that because this stuff is in here. All this going to come out of here, but I think it looks good. I think I'm going to pull it more towards the center of the room. I haven't figured it out yet, but I like it like this. I think it's a good size. I probably could have went the eight and a half, ten by like my cousin said, but I like it. What do you guys want? Well, I guess y'all ain't gonna tell me because it's gonna be the video, but this is what it looks like for now. If I ever want to change the rug out, this could go in anybody's bedroom in the house. So I'm not really worried. It could really go in my bedroom too. So not really worried about not having to use it for something else but for right now i love it stuff that I don't use on a regular basis and so all of this stuff over here is like office supplies I have like 
extra post-its and my stapler and like some cards and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my closet and I am going to put a lot of that stuff in there. And my printer over here is gonna go down on the bottom shelf over there. And I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this file drawer. I'm either going to put it under one of the desks or maybe put it up somewhere that you can't see it or paint it white and put it like in a corner or something. So I haven't really decided on that or I may get a whole new one. I haven't decided, like I keep saying I haven't decided. You see, I haven't decided a lot of stuff. So hopefully by the time this video goes out, um, my renovation video, I'm gonna figure out all of my issues and show you everything and how I got everything together. I forgot I had this cute little file thing here. This would go on my little, shelves and some decorations i keep like my client stuff in here so i'm definitely gonna put this on one of the shelves because it's super cute i got it at the thrift store like a dollar some foolish price it was it was very inexpensive 99 cent 99 cent y'all look how cute this is um so yeah I, that's what i keep on my clients information keep their stuff together so that is that but i'm gonna keep working and i probably work a little bit longer it is currently 9 34 at night so i probably do a little bit more tonight show you guys what i do and then go in my room because i'm gonna do a little reading i haven't done any reading since i got back from dubai i haven't done as much reading as i should in the month of may um so i need to get that together so yeah that's what i'm going to be working on for another hour so not too long like i said so let's get to it i'll come back when i'm done for the night y'all look how versatile this desk is literally i can put them side by side and have a one long desk as well i didn't even think about that till just now when i was trying to turn the desk around this guy hooked me up i'm in love this rug is too damn small for this room so we'll be looking for a new rug tomorrow other than that looking good if I want my desk right here or if I want my desk over here so I really don't like having my back to a door so I don't know I don't know so I think I'm gonna move my desk over here as I did all of that <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna move it that this way because I don't like my back being towards the door at all. So take 999. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. So I'm up super early this morning. My mom's actually gonna be here <laughs> probably like 30 minutes. So I need to go hop in the shower and get dressed for the day. But I was up this morning because I was trying to rearrange my office for my new desk, you guys. I'm so freaking excited. It looks it so good. I can't wait for you guys to see the room tour. I believe the room tour is not gonna be out by the time this vlog comes out. I want, like I told you guys, I wanted a seating area in here. So I am going to go today. First, let me digress for a second. So that rug, I think I'm gonna keep that rug for the simple fact it's in the middle of the room. And the way the desk is, I think I like the rug like it is. I don't think I'm gonna get a different rug, but we shall see. 
Um, that's just what I'm thinking right now. Um, but anywho, I told you guys I wanted a seating area in here with like a little small table, just something really small and simple because this room is big, but it's not big enough to configure the office like I want it to, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to figure out how to have the desk because it's bigger than the other desk. So I don't like it all the way in the corner. So I put it sort of like towards the middle of the room, like centered but back if that makes sense when y'all see the office tour y'all understand what i'm saying so i got the bookshelves um done you guys saw them in some of my videos already and so over here i'm gonna show you guys this corner over here in this corner i want to have a really small chair so i did measure the chair i want it to be about 28 to 30 inches wide and i want it to recline because i want to be able to sit back and chill okay and i'm gonna have a little bitty table maybe with a little lamp there or i might put the lamp behind like have one of those lamps that come over the chair and sits behind it that's what i'm really thinking save room we have to think about saving room and so i want a little tea station and i'm thinking about putting a little tea station like right here right next to the closet now i know a lot of people gonna say how are you gonna recline and be in front of the closet well if i'm going in the closet clearly i'm not sitting in the chair to recline so i don't care nothing about the chair like coming out in front of the closet i don't care so that's not gonna be an issue for me so i'm either gonna put the tea station right there or i'm gonna have it in between my bookshelves I'm not really sure don't know gotta figure that out and then i thought about pushing my bookshelves together what y'all think i thought about pushing them together oh anywho i digress so look at my little teapot i got that's one of them isn't it so cute you guys so it says tea and then it has the definition of tea and then this is the other teapot i got right there that i told you was missing the top up there but i don't really care because look the little mug matches it and everything so that is what i um was talking about yesterday when I said I went to Tuesday morning. And then my mama bought me this little glass teapot that lights up so that I can um, drink my tea in here. So I'm super, super happy. But yeah, so that is what I'm thinking for this area here. Because I'll probably have like a little tea station. I might center it. I don't know. Like when the door is open, I'll center it from where the door stops. So it'll be centered like right here, but not really centered with the wall when you close the door for obvious reasons. So like from here on, I might center it in between here. So we don't want to like obstruct the door or anything or have somebody hit the tea cart and all this other shit. You know how they go. Um. So yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. Okay, let me turn back around, 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 around. Okay, so that's what I'm doing this morning. So I'm actually on... Like Wayfair, well I'm actually on Google shopping small recliners and this one is studded but I don't know if I want a studded recliner but I love it because the width is perfect. The width is like um, 27.5 which is really really good um, and then I found another one that was like exactly 28 and of course I'm sitting there with Dana Ashley because you know she's my interior decorator or whatever. So I'm sending them to her to answer me about what she thinks. Um, so, oh shit. But yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. So next time you guys see me, I should be in the car with my mom. Okay, I'll see y'all a little bit later. What's no? What kind of dog you had that somebody want to steal? It's a little one. One of them little ones? Mm-hmm. They want them little things. I was looking for some of them eucalyptus things to put in that white vase you had. Mm -hmm. That was versus them pink flowers. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have any here. So. And then these were too high. They was like $12. Like, I'm not paying $12 for that. This is cute. Look at this. This is $11.99. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to die though. <laughs> okay, inside the drawer. So, this little club chair. What do you think? This is like the one you saw. Got spots on it. I know. But you know how to clean stuff. It's comfortable. It'll be $79. And then I'll need an ottoman though. Push that one, and then they have a colored one over here. But it's like a, that's too bright though. I don't think I like this one. 
That's a side table thing. How much it cost? That'd be cute to put next to something. It'd be twenty nine dollars. That's not bad. How much is it? Twenty nine. It'd be twenty three. You can put that on. You can put that uh, on the side of your, your uh, desk. Mm -hmm. Then you get a cart. And then what can happen is you can put a, a camera under there or something. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this right here. Oh, I like your hair. What about this right here? I need a okay. clock in my office. It's $19.99. Is that too much for it? Mm -hmm. It'll be $15.99. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. I love it. They have a chair here, but it's too wide. It's 32 inches wide, and it's too big for my space. This one right here, and it reclines, but it's 32 inches wide. And the most I wanted was 28 or 29, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. If it went perfect in there, I probably would have painted the legs white or made them a little bit darker. But this little taupey color would have went perfect in the office. But it's too big. I don't know. I want a chair. Guys, we have done some damage today. We headed the hell home. Okay. I ain't got no more money to spend. Shame. Huh? Shame? <laughs> she ain't, she ain't spent all this money. You spent way about 25% of what I spent today. I Y'all, I cleared about $200 today, I think. Maybe more guys so we got everything in the room that we bought so far and so we're gonna try to just get some things together of course like I said I don't have everything but we got lots of stuff lots and lots of stuff so let's get to it winding down for the night this is what my office looks like right now you know without the gallery wall and everything so this is hopefully where I can put my chair over here like cat a corner and it'd be a little table and then my tea cart should go there and the gallery wall should go there so hopefully I can have the chair and stuff soon but that's what the rug looks like I think it's coming along nicely. I think it's coming along very, very nice. I don't know if I like that plant inside this box. I feel like I want something to lift it up, but be tall. I'm gonna have to look at some like pot things, but I do like that box. So even if I don't use it with the plant, I can definitely use it somewhere else in here. Like, I don't know, a wire hider or some shit under the desk. Cause y'all know I ain't got no kind of like nothing on the desk. So this is what the top of the desk. I have two lamps, one for each side. 
Because, you know, sometimes you want to be on one side. On the other, you need lamp. Then I got this turnaround thing I got. I got this little letter board. I got butt first T. And then I got be your own kind of beautiful sign over there. So, yeah. That is what I have done so far, you guys. The shelves from this side. All right, you guys. So, here's another update on the office. It's going to be part of the renovation segment or whatever, I guess. Let me turn the fan on. It's hot as a week. Um, so, he came and he delivered the glass today. So, I'm super excited. It looks so, so good. So, this is what it looks like with the glass on top. So, it overhangs a little bit on this one, but that is okay. And then, the glass is on this one. I just had to move everything out of the way. So, I'm about to go ahead and put everything back up on the desk. I decided I'm going to do this plant because, you see, it doesn't like sunlight because it's fading here. So, I'm going to put that plant over there in that corner, and I'm going to move that, um, what do that thing called? Filing cabinet over here so I can take this printer off this bottom shelf and put it over here that way it can reach my computer when I have to print something. So I was trying to figure that out, but that's what I'm gonna have to do. So we're just gonna move our little tree over here and we'll put y'all on the tripod. And point to y'all that way. I put the tree over there or whatever that thing's called over there and this is what my desk looks like I cleaned it up a little bit more as you saw so the glass can't really tell it has glass on it until you like get on it and even then it's hard to tell that it has glass on it which I like you can tell a little bit from here right there it has glass but not too much and then pushed that over there still has a lot of space over here so I might hang like my calendar over here or dry erase board or I probably hang my dry erase project board over there and then my calendar over here by the chair or above the coffee thing I don't know yeah um, I think I'm gonna put my cousin gave me this little thing right here and I think it'll look perfect in between the center of this so we're gonna try to do that but yeah that's what I'm working on you guys so um, I'm calling it a decorating night. It's over. I'm about to go to bed. So I'll see y'all. Maybe, I don't know, next time I'm doing something to the office, I'll see y'all. Because, you know, it's going to probably be a long before and after reno or two part reno or whatever it is going to be. I don't know yet. I ain't figured it out. But I'll see y'all later. <laughs>
behind the scenes renovation video. I hope you enjoyed um, looking at my thought process and um, getting my mom to help me putting furniture together, staging everything like I wanted to be cleaning up, trying to figure out how to arrange things, where to put things, where not to put things. So I really hope you enjoyed my thought process. And again, if you haven't seen the completed office tour, I will have it linked down below so you can check that out. And I'll also have it in the cards. And I will also have it as a link at the end of this video for you to click on um, at the end slate. So you guys can go ahead and just click it easily and go and see the office reveal. So thank you so much for joining me for renovation, busy doing renovation episode seven, and I'll see you guys next week, for episode eight.